Hello, this is Santa here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. Today, we take a look at the Gundam Narrative Limited Edition Blu ray set, which I picked up from Right Stuff Anime. Now, this set was released exclusively through the Premium Bandai, uh, Bandai Visual Club website in Japan, but Right Stuff was able to acquire a certain amount of stock of them for the US market and not charging any upcharge. Essentially speaking, it's roughly the same price it would be out of Japan, minus the shipping charge, because Right Stuff has free shipping at 50 bucks, and this was about 100. So right now we're just looking at a brown box, but I always like to start Right Stuff unboxings from the box, because absolutely Right Stuff is the top of the line when it comes to packing quality for anything. Any online orders I ever make, I never get anything packed better than Right Stuff does it. So that's why I kind of like to show it off. Let's crack this open. Uh, this just came out last week, uh, May 24th to be exact, was the exact date. Uh, they shipped mine out actually a couple days early, which was nice. Um, so I'm going to pull the invoice out of here because it's got all my information and stuff. Um, so first up, uh, we'll take a look here. Look at this. This is, this is the most beautiful piece of cardboard ever because what this is is just cardboard to reinforce the cardboard. So the box does that. By the way, I love this. I'm an edition premium cardboard packaging variant edition. Collect them all. Uh, they have a few different boxes. And then inside the items are securely wrapped. Uh, so, I'll give me the items because it is a couple things here. All right, first up, uh, here is everything. So, first things first, this is the gift with purchase or the pre order bonus, if you'd say, which is an art card of the uh, Unicorn Gundam 03 Fenix and Rita, its pilot. Uh, this is a, it's a, you know, it's on a, it's an actual art board. As you can see, it's actually kind of thick. Uh, let's open this up. Let's just go for it. I was like, ah, do I want to take it out of the plastic? Yeah, let's take it out of the plastic. Let's be savages. Um, this is kind of a cool little bonus. Uh, in Japan, this is the bonus for ordering this edition. So Right Stuff offered it for America. It's got a nice uh, matte finish to it, uh, but it's a very glossy edge. It's very nice and shiny. It's, it's really cool. So this is kind of like a bonus thing. Uh, right Stuff said there's only so many of these. I think it's similar in Japan. It's like you have to pre-order it any leftover stock of that set won't have this. Um, so keep an eye out. I know their website still lists if it comes with it or not. This is definitely cool. It's, it's a nice little bonus. It's just, you know, yet another uh, little thing. Uh, now Gundam Narrative, of course, is the film that released in J Japanese theaters November of last year, but released in North American theaters in February of this year. So it's actually not been that long since I got to see this in theaters. So this is really nice to have. Now this is the limited edition Blu-ray. If you go on places like CD Japan, you'll find the Blu-ray. It's gonna be just this part, none of this. This is all the bonus stuff here. So this part is what you'll find at a lot of Japanese retailers. Uh, for me in the past, I've only ever gotten two other Blu-ray uh, sets from Japan. That was Gun and Thunderbolt, December Sky, and Bandit Flower. Uh, so this is my third Japanese Blu-ray. Now you're probably wondering, you know, if you didn't know already, why do you have a Japanese Blu-ray set? Uh, sure, it's got cool physical bonuses. Why would you pay so much for something with, uh, you know, no actual uh, availability of viewability? Well, how about I tell you this story? So this set actually uh, includes the English dub and the English subtitles, as well as several other languages. Uh, it's all listed on the website. But uh, this set, uh, this actual Blu-ray is made to be distributed worldwide. They did that with Thunderbolt. They did that with Origin. Uh, they made the limited edition so that that way, you know, their partnership with Right Stuff would allow them to distribute these in North America, which is super nice. Now, the only thing I'm going to first say off the bat that I don't like about this set, the Thunderbolt sets came in giant art boxes that had all of their booklets because they came with full storyboards. I should really do a video on this someday. Um, this is just the Blu-ray, and then you can see it's the plastic that's holding the rest in. Uh, there's no slip cover like that. A little bit of a bummer, but... Uh, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Code Geass, uh, the Funimation Code Geass set uh, also had a similar issue where it was like, oh, here's the art cards included, but it doesn't fit in the slipcover, so you have to, like, find extra space. Um, but I might also just slip everything back into here. We'll see what I do. I don't know yet. Let's get everything out of plastic, which is actually kind of tight. I won't be slipping this back in. Oh, I caught the edge. Okay. I'm going to pull this out. Uh, let's see. This is the... Standard OB with information on it. Uh, let's look at the Blu-ray itself. So here's the Blu-ray. Very nice cover of the Narrative Gundam C packs. Uh, this is done in similar style to the Unicorn theatrical editions, I believe, uh, as they were released. The destination, the new type myth, Mobile Suit Gundam Narrative, 
UC0097, one year after the opening of Laplace's box, despite the revelation of the Universal Century Charter that acknowledges the existence and rights of new types, the framework of the world has not greatly altered. The conflict, later dubbed the Laplace Incident, is thought to have ended with the downfall of neo Zeon remnants known as the Sleeves. In its first battle, two full Psycho-Frame mobile suits displayed power beyond human understanding. The white unicorn and the black lion were sealed away to remove this danger from people's consciousness, and they should now be completely forgotten. However, the RX-0 Unicorn Gundam 03, which disappeared two years earlier, is now about to show itself in the Earth Sphere once more, a golden phoenix named Phoenix. This is really cool. It's actually really, um, it's in English. Like, a lot of stuff with uh, unicorns in English. This is really well written. There was no, like, Englishy kind of uh, nature to that. So that's awesome. A lot of Bandai Japan and Bandai stuff in general, when they throw English on it, doesn't really uh, read very well. That read incredibly well. Uh, here's the cover. This is based off of the final poster of the film. So we got the, you know, the CPAX, the Neo Zeong Zui, uh, and the, or no, it's the uh, Two's Neo Zeong. Ugh that name uh and then the fennex as well as the three uh main characters it's funny with the way they position it, it looks like michelle luo is piloting uh the neo zeong or the two neo zeong but it's actually zoltan uh but zoltan's not important enough of a character to be on the cover uh but it's really about these three so uh yona basta rita and uh, michelle luo um, i don't remember rita's last name because they just kept yelling rita on the back and kind of see some images all this is going to be in japanese but it's got like you know what's listed as bonus features. I think there's, I think the main Blu-ray is just, um, is just promotional stuff, uh, if I believe. So there's the main Blu-ray disc, uh, for those wondering. Uh, yeah, there's your Blu-ray, there's me, hi. Uh, so you got that going on. And then, oh, looks like we got a couple pamphlets. I love little pamphlets, especially when they come from Japan. Uh, just, oh, let's do this first. Uh, here's Zoltan on the bonus disc. Um, hello. Uh, we got that going on, so. There is that stuff. Now, looking at the little uh, pamphlets, we got a Universal Century Blu-ray timeline because they just announced that this was happening, I think just before this Blu-ray, and that they are going to be releasing uh, new Blu-ray sets for a lot of the movies and uh, OVAs related to the actual um, Universal Century. Sorry, lost my train of thought for a second. So it's got, I think the first one's 8th MST Miller Report, then uh, 0083 uh, after Afterglows Xeon. Uh, those are the you know the compilation film for 0083 and the Eighth MS Team interlude movie that mostly was compilation but had a lot of new footage. Uh, followed up with Shars Counterattack and then F91. It's sad I know how to delineate these. Uh, and then these two sets I believe are. I know Igloo is a part of this, um, but these actually no 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 this is the. Oh uh, yeah, this is the original Gundam compilation films and the Zeta Gundam films. And then down here we got 8th MS Team, you know, series, MS Igloo series, 0080 series, and 0083 series. These are just the part of the Universal Century Gundam, Blu uh, Gundam Blu-ray libraries. I imagine the TV shows will follow this format later, but uh, kind of cool they're getting new releases. Oh, and on the back we have a promotional for the Mobile Suit Gundam 00 Rebuild uh, stage show, which is getting a Blu-ray release. So hopefully, uh, I don't think this is ever going to come out over here in America, uh, but I hope somebody online will get to do a fan sub of this. I do want to see this. That'd be cool. Uh, let's go past that. This is a DTX Headphone X. Uh, this is compatible with that. Um, that's a Japan thing. I don't know. All right, here we have the Gundam narrative, Operation Phoenix Hunt report. I love how the hunt has the NT capitalized. This is just kind of an overview of the film, uh, its main plot, its characters, Rita Bernal. That's what her last name is. Now we've learned something. Uh, so you got kind of different characters. I like how there is uh, English names for this. They definitely thought about uh, us Westerners a little bit with this. Uh, an interview, which you can't read. Another interview, which you can't read. Another crosstalk, can't read. Uh, most of this is just Japanese text. It's still kind of cool with these. They had these with Thunderbolt and the uh, Phoenix Crest on the back. So that's basically everything that's in the main Blu-ray. Uh, here, this was a bonus that was added after Breeders went up, which is a nice surprise. The Mobile Suit Gundam Narrative Drama CD. Uh, I say nice surprise because, you know, you get something. Not a nice surprise for us that, you know, don't speak Japanese. Uh, this is known as Gundam UC Episode EX2. Uh, EX1, I believe, was the 100 Years of Pain or whatever. It was kind of like an overview of the Universal Century, included with the last... Unicorn Blu-ray, uh, but this is a CD, 
uh, which has the characters talking, there's the cast and staff in Japanese. Uh, if anyone out there knows Japanese and wants to translate a drama CD, uh, talk to me, because I can provide the audio. Uh, maybe we can figure something out. Uh, moving on to the art books, this is the art book section, the mostly kind of narrative. Uh, I don't know which one this is. This would be uh, just kind of an introduction overview. Uh, characters, the Miracle Children. This one, yeah, I think this is the character book. Um, yeah, definitely character stuff. Look at Martha. Martha Vist Carbine. How you aged really quickly in two years. Anyways, uh, there's a lot of character stuff here, just kind of character models, uh, character bios. This is just kind of cool behind the scenes stuff. I really enjoy this kind of stuff. I know everyone, not everyone does. Um, look, it's the Apex, which was retail which had the second least screen time, and the B-Packs, which had the most screen time, but was Premium Bandai, and the C-Packs, which is retail, but had the least amount of screen time. Anyways, um, also by the way, side note, this Core Fighter is friggin' cool, and there's no kit of it in any way, and I want a real grade narrative just to get that, because that'd be awesome. And moving along, um, mobile suits, so you got different mobile suits. See, two Neo Zeong, what the heck? What's up with that name? Um, the Silver Bolt Suppressor, of course, is a wonderful little thing. Uh, yep, moving on, locations, different location stuff, different other things. Oh, here's a column about Full Frontal and Marita Cruz. Okay, uh, this is a, uni oh, oh, fun, Universal Century Timeline, you know, 0079, there's a nice little colony drop, 0087, there's a Psycho, 0093, there's a, um, you know, uh, Axis Flash thing. 0096, Unicorn, uh, and then, oh, this is more about the timeline of episode EX2, because I think this is stuff that happens before narrative, so that's cool. Uh, so that's that booklet, and then this other booklet, uh, which again, I don't really know, that it just says narrative, and then it has the narrative on it instead of the Phoenix. Oh, this is a storyboard booklet. Uh, this has the storyboards, oh yeah, this is the storyboards for not the entire movie, but a lot of the action sequences, because you get kind of, um, I think it's key moments. I think it's key moment storyboards. The nice part with the Thunderbolt sets is they included like entire freaking storyboards for both movies. Um, those sets were a little bit more expensive. And they also didn't come with like drama CDs. Uh, they just came with like an art book and stuff. Um, so overall, this is not a bad set. Uh, I think that in general, uh, narrative uh, limited edition Blu-ray set it could be better, like if I was gonna give this a review, uh, this is ignoring like content on discs, like I know that there's a ton of bonus features on this bonus disc, um, but you know, I think that it could have had a little bit more. Uh, I think mostly I probably would be a lot happier if it had like a box to contain it in, because it, the, the origin sets were really big and came with a really large books, but you could still kind of keep them, you know, you could keep the Blu-ray in there, you can put it on the shelf. The Thunderbolt sets, like I said, have these really nice slip covers that held everything. Uh, this is kind of more of a, you know, here's your Blu-ray plus some little bonus stuff, uh, less so than, you know, fancy art box. So in that regard, I think it's a little lacking in, in you know, presentation, but overall content wise, it's pretty good. And I'm definitely glad to get this. Uh, one of the biggest advantages of getting this set now is that I don't have to worry about the US release later, which based on how long it took Thunderbolt to come out, in the US, uh, it could be about a year or so. So if you're wanting to get the movie a lot quicker, this is definitely the route to go. But if you're not super hardcore about the film or you're not super hardcore about art books or you know bonus discs or a drama CD or the art card, the art card really did a lot for me too. Um, if you're not into that kind of stuff and the physical bonuses, this is definitely not something you need to get. Uh, I think if you're a US fan, definitely wait for the you know cheaper alternative later down the line. Uh, it should be a nice release still because Nozomi does good work. Um, but overall, I think that this is a great set for those of you that want like a fancier edition of narrative. And, you know, it's there. So hopefully this video is able to inform you. If you're still looking for it, they might still be available on rightstuffanime.com or at the more convenient link, link buygundam.com. Uh, I really love that they got that URL. And uh, yeah, check it out if you can. Um, this set, like I said, did run a hundred bucks, uh, so it is a little on the pricey side. Again, that's the Japanese retail price, because look, it's 9,800 yen, as listed there. So, uh, that's essentially everything in this set. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing slash review. Uh, I'm technically going to title this a review, because this got really deep, 
Um, and I hope it was all informative to you out there. So until next time, be sure to like and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you can keep in the loop of all my videos. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at SoundOut12. Also check out Ryan Darkclaw 643 at Twitter at six four at, at Darkclaw 643. Sorry, uh, he is my graphic designer. Does the thumbnails, which look really nice on this channel. And also check out Hero Club at hero-club.com for all your Gundam news and more. Till next time, this is Sound Say goodbye.